Hi, I'm Tricia, an organic gardener. I grow organically for a healthy and safe food supply, for a clean and sustainable environment, for an enjoyable and rewarding experience. Most gardeners compare MPK numbers diligently to make sure that their plants get the right nutrients, but that's only half the story. Plants need at least 16 different elements for proper growth. The first three elements your plants need are carbon, hydrogen, and oxygen. Plants get these three from the air and water. The next six are called the macronutrients. The primary macronutrients are nitrogen for vegetative growth, phosphorus for root and flower development, and potassium for vigor. For more information on these macronutrients, check out our How to Fertilize Organically video. And there are lesser talked about macronutrients that are important, sulfur, magnesium, and calcium. Calcium is an important element to build strong cell walls. Magnesium is a necessary mineral for chlorophyll production, and sulfur is needed by plants for protein building. The remaining seven are called micronutrients, or trace minerals, because they're needed in smaller amounts. The seven trace minerals are boron, chlorine, copper, iron, manganese, molybdenum, and zinc. Before you start amending for micronutrients, it's important that you get a soil test. The uptake of micronutrients is affected by pH and the presence of other elements. For example, you might have plenty of calcium in your soil, but if you have too much magnesium, the calcium that you have may not be available to your plants. Let's talk about what the secondary macronutrients and the trace minerals do and organic sources available. If your soil is lacking in calcium, some great amendments include limestone, gypsum, oyster shell, and calcium 25. One of the problems that a lack of calcium can cause is blossom end rot in tomatoes. Pay attention to the effects that these amendments will have on your pH. For example, oyster shell lime will raise the pH and the gypsum will lower your pH. So make sure that you know what the pH of your soil is before choosing a calcium source. For a magnesium boost, use K-mag, dolomite, and azomite. Magnesium is often found with calcium, like in dolomite, or with potassium, like in K-mag. The older leaves of plants that need magnesium will turn yellow from edges of the leaf in. Careful, because there are other deficiencies and viruses that look similar. Straight sulfur can be added using the EB Stone or the Tiger Organic products. Or it can piggyback with other nutrients like it does with this iron sulfate or gypsum. When sulfur is low, the young leaves of a plant will turn yellow. Sometimes the leaves will be small and stunted looking as well. Micronutrients are only needed in small amounts, but not having them can really cause problems for your plants. But too much micronutrients is also a problem. Think of micronutrients as vitamins for your plants. Some of my favorite plant multivitamins are kelp meal, Gaia green glacial rock dust, and azomite. And these three are all slow release. For a fast response, I like the organic liquid kelp. Take care of your babies. Give them all the nutrition that they need and grow organic for life.